Hi, this is Brother Bryce. And in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is how to modify an eLearning Brothers custom skin for Storyline 2. So basically, how you get to that uh, to the Storyline 2 skins is first you go to Player Skins and Articulate Storyline Skins. When you locate all the skins, you then select the one that you'd like. And for this purpose, I'll go with Gizmo 1 Dark. Okay. Now here, you can see there's, there's two uh, files, a Storyline 1 file as well as a Storyline 2. So make sure you download the correct one. So if I select Download on Storyline 2, I will get a zipped document. And I'll just go ahead and place that in a location that I, I, I feel that is an easy place for me to find. So I'll put that on my desktop. Now something to note is that this is a, a zipped document, so you need to make sure to extract all before you can use it. Let's go ahead and close that out. Okay. Now uh, the second thought is uh, I have a bunch of different sizes for this one skin. Okay, so if I go to, to my storyline file, and go to Design and Story Size, I can then see the size of my Storyline file, 720 by 540. Okay, so if I press Cancel, Minimize, come back here, this is the size I need, 720 by 540. And you can modify your skin or your uh, Storyline file to any one of these sizes to, um, to have your own uh, custom skin. Anything outside of it, uh, we can uh, be able to do. Just make sure to contact us and uh, we can see what we can do to, to make a custom size for you. But for the most part, um, these, these are the sizes that, that we set, set by. Okay. Uh, when you figure out the size that you want, you then also need to make sure uh, that you do a few other things inside. Go to the player skin and there's actually another way you can modify the size of the, uh, the content area. And that's by including or unincluding the side objects or the top objects. See how there's a notes section here? Um, if I uninclude the notes section, so if I uninclude it, see how it uh, moved up a little bit? And if I uninclude the menu, it will also move over and it will resize uh, the output of the storyline. Um, of storyline in general. So basically what you need to make sure to do is include something at the side and something on the top. So for instance if you don't want the resources tab that's fine just uninclude it here as, and um, include the notes. Now even though the notes isn't going to be displayed here at the top it will actually be displayed on the side. Um, you just need to make sure that something is up there. Okay. So if I press OK, come back down here, you can see that this is how it's going to be displayed right here. Okay. And so, um, so make sure you, uh, just again, make sure you have something on the side and the top, even though it might not be displayed that way. Okay. So if that makes sense, that can kind of be a little confusing. But uh, when you have that, you can then come over here into the colors and effects. Now uh, with this you can either go with the built-in colors and themes or you can go ahead and uh, make your own colors inside here. So for instance if we want to make um, let's see let's go to our buttons and normal background of buttons if we want to change the buttons to an orange color, see it will only grab the top color of the uh, of the button. So let's go ahead and publish this out and let's also make a couple different changes as well. So if I wanted to go to main background, let's do the top color red, the bottom color blue, and let's keep it like this. Okay. So uh, let's press OK on that and publish it out. Let's go right to my desktop, easy place to find. And when we publish it out, I want to open up uh, the folder as well. 
So when we view this, this is how it's going to look. Just just how it was shown in the uh, in storyline itself. Okay. But then now let's incorporate my 720 by 540 frame dot swift. And this frame dot swift is the uh, is the actual um, is the actual skin. So when I bring that in, if you noticed, I um, I skipped that before I, I said it. Uh, I had to replace that document, okay? Overwrite that document. So when I did that, it will now, let's go back to here and open up the HTML here. So now I have a whole new skin. I have the top color is, uh, top bar color is red, bottom bo bar color is blue with an orange button and hover buttons as well, hover colors as well, okay? Now, um, if you notice, there were two, not only one, but two f files in that one um, skin folder. So what this does is this will show the menu initially if, if you include this XML doc as well. So uh, again, just looking at this, if I refresh, I won't see that uh, menu initially right off the bat. But if I want to view it, I'll just have to press the menu button, okay? So the difference again is, say if I want to have that menu initially shown, I'll just go ahead and move this over into my story content folder. And when I do that, let's refresh, and that menu will automatically show that um, initially. So, um, so that's kind of how that goes. Uh, I listed out a bunch of different items that you can change here inside of Storyline in the player, colors and effects, advanced options, um, color editing. And so you can go around and play, play with that and have a lot of fun with changing and modifying your custom colors right inside of uh, Storyline, Storyline's player properties. All right, that concludes my tutorial. Have fun time playing around with these skins.